today I bought some liquidation items. So for those of you who don't know what that means, it means that the items that you return online, either through Target, Walmart, Amazon, any of those, either go into a landfill or get sent to a liquidation company. And then they in turn resell those items to people like me um, for pennies on the dollar. So typically when I do go get liquidation items, it is a pallet full of items that are returned to Amazon. Today's a little bit different. I got a little pallet from Target. It's called a mini pallet um, because it was a lot shorter and that was by my choice because I didn't want a whole bunch of extra things in my house. I am still trying to sell stuff from my last two pallets. So just wanted a little inventory to keep things rolling. So this has become a really fun side hustle for me that I am buying these pallets of liquidation items and then reselling them either on Facebook Marketplace or on eBay. I buy pallets from Grand Rapids Pallet Liquidation. Um, they always do a great job. They have some great quality items. So I spent $200 and got all of these items. Some of them obviously you can see from the outside. So this is like a little bumper car. Oops, it's upside down. It is like a kid's bumper car system. It's pretty fun. Um, I think they retail for around $150. All right, so as mentioned before, typically I buy something that's called a monster. Um, and that is a gigantic eight foot tall pallet that is shrink wrapped and it is all Amazon return items. So it is eight feet tall, probably four or five feet wide. It's just massive. So you get just tons of stuff. Um, I will link some videos at the end of this video, or you can go ahead and check out any of my palette videos on my page. Please check them out, subscribe, like, comment. I love hearing from you all. So without further ado, let's get into some of these boxes. And for those of you who watched my last video, I finally got a knife. So I will not be opening boxes with scissors anymore. little pink kit with rocks create your own mosaic turtle kit that's cute all right we got pillow fort blackout curtains this would be so cute for a girl's room with all those cute pastel colors wow there's a lot in here all right we got a cute fa la 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 fuzzy blanket very fuzzy. Uh, a clock. This funny little like candy corn bird. <laughs> it's cute. Oh, another very fuzzy blanket. Wow. Oh, I see something that my son would like. Beyblades. Looks like it's all in here. Probably has been played with. Uh, everything's out of its packaging and looks like we're missing the little ripstick things if you've ever played with these they have like a uh, I don't know it's almost like a zip tie that go in here and then you pull it out and then it spins these things really fast um, and it looks like there's only one of the Beyblades in here so good news for my son he might get to keep what's in here because this is incomplete all right and last thing is a frame but I can't tell. Maybe this is it. It just is like a glass and it doesn't have any backing to it. I don't know. This is just maybe the wrapping. Oh yeah, flannel fur blanket. So that was for the other blanket. Um, not sure. I'll have to look this one up on Target and see um, if I'm missing pieces or what's going on with that. Let's see what's in this little guy. This knife is so much sharper than my scissors. Thank you, hubby, for buying this for me. You watched my last video and saw how desperate I was for scissor for a knife. All right, so we got another cute clock and a very smashed lamp. So this will unfortunately just be going in the garbage and that was all that's in this one, just like the extra little broken pieces of this lamp. Up next, you can see what this one is, a mop. Um, I have seen a lot of people get these on their palettes, um, especially the Target ones. So 
I will be putting this probably on Facebook Marketplace, maybe on eBay. I guess I should open it because it does look like it's been retaped. Just make sure that's actually what's in here because sometimes people stuff things in the wrong boxes. Oh yeah, that's what's in here. Just a little dusty, but it doesn't look like the mop head has ever been used, so that's good news. All right, Target's a little bit different because a lot of these are things you can see from the outside of the box. So um, another one you can see is like a brand new box fan. Um, this one's never been opened, so I'm not going to open it. Definitely feels like that's what's in here. All right, another thing you can see is this cute um, curtain hanger. Uh, might go really well with that curtain that we just unboxed with these cute little sunshines on the end. I like it. It says salvage, but it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. So I'll open this up, make sure all the pieces are here. All right, if you've watched my previous videos, this is just like an Amazon mystery box, I call them, with the prime tape on them. You just have no idea what's inside. Some of those other ones you can definitely see from the outside of the box what's inside. This one, I have no clue. Oh, it's another one packed full of stuff. Okay. We have some Halloween string lights. A kid's size six bone pajamas. <laughs> some blue hairspray. It looks like definitely Halloween themed stuff. Oh, this is cute. Smile, be kind. Caring is cool. Little sippy cup. <laughs> A unicorn wig. Ooh. A Conair blow dryer. Let's open this up and see if that's what's inside. Yeah, still in its plastic. Got the little attachments. And the blow dryer is definitely in there. Sweet. That's nice. All right, what else we got? Oh, some skulls. Definitely Halloween box. Some kids size eight pajamas. <laughs> this is cute. A little tractor. It says pumpkin patch on the back. All right. Some men's pants. Maybe women's pants. They say size four. Yep. Women's pants. Like just slacks. We've got a round tablecloth. You can see that print on there. Some toddler size 12 month pajamas. Some more blue hairspray. And a sports bra, pink sports bra. And another sports bra, maybe swimsuit. I think it's just like a comfier bra. All right, that's all for that box. Let's load it back inside. Let's see, let's do this one. Why not? Oh, more Halloween stuff. They are Haunted Mansion chocolate cookie kits. And there are four of them in here. All right, so I'm guessing these are going to expire before it's Halloween again, so I'm probably just going to have to do these with my kids and they'll just pretend they're gingerbread houses or something. Alright, this is also pretty cute. Togetherness, you and me. Um, it says clearance right here, 15, was originally 50. So two cute little frames. Um, the front looks okay, but the back of this one's a little bit smooshed in. So, should still be able to sell them, but probably won't get a whole lot for them. And, oh, this is cute. It's a hammock chair. Um, if you can see that or not. Looks nice. It looks like it's all intact. Like it's not even ever been opened, so that'll sell. All right, I have just two more boxes, but I saved the biggest boxes for last. So... Let's get that stuff out of the way a minute. And this one is super heavy. Oh. All right, we got it. Let's see. Oh my word. <laughs> it's a whole bunch 
them some snacks. But they're like Halloween snacks, so there's like trail mix with candy corn in it. Saw some gummies, candy apple pretzels. Um, lucky for me, I like trail mix, I guess. Wow. I did see some gummies somewhere. Oh, these ones are caramel apple bourbon snacks. Pumpkin spice worthers. All right. Let's see. Do they have an expiration date, though? August of 2023. So, still good to eat. Oh, what are these? Chocolate hazelnut cream filled rolled wafers. Yum. All right, let's get all this back in here. So, it's not a total bust because now that's all the trail mix and stuff that I don't have to buy, but unfortunately I don't think I'm going to really be able to sell that. Um, unless somebody really loves candy corn and really wants to buy them. Uh, but the biggest problem will be now that's cutting into my profit. So that was a big item, like a huge item on the box, or on the skid, um, that I won't really be able to resell. So, oh well, let's see what's in this last box. This is one is also pretty heavy. It says Spin Master on the outside, which is typically a game, or like toys. But like you saw in the last one, it doesn't really matter what it says on the outside of the box. They tend to just use reuse old boxes and just take stuff off of shelves. So that could be another thing with these Target, or I've even seen them on Amazon where it's an item that maybe um, they're not stocking anymore. So a company's going out of business, for instance, on Amazon, and that's how I ended up with like 30 air purifiers on one skid. Um, the things like the, the Halloween or the holiday theme things can be that they're just taking them off the shelves because they don't want to hold on to them either. They're gonna come up with new things to sell next year, so there's really no point in hanging onto those things for them. Um, so keep that in mind when you're gonna buy stuff. It could be really unique and really themed to a certain season that's already passed. Um, stuff like the food, we'll definitely have to use some of the decor and that kind of stuff if I don't mind holding on to it. Like it's just in a small box, so it's not that big of a deal. Anyways, last box, let's get into it. Oh my word. Well, it's not toys. It's a whole bunch of phone cases. Um, and they look like they're all iPhone cases. So, I mean, there's an Otter box. You know what? These actually probably will sell really well on eBay. And the best news is they're really light and easy to ship. And I can just stick them in a bag and they don't need to go in a box to ship. Um, so I'm gonna have to organize all these and go through them, but like otter boxes I think are at least $20. Some of these are really cute. Kate Spade. Um, I don't know what this is, but it's really cute. Sparkly. This one has the lightning charger thing on it. Casemate. So, not a total bummer, but I'll definitely have to go through it. Emily and Henry Book Lovers, a book. Oh, an iPad case. Okay, so it's not just that. Oh, PS5 game. Okay, guess we're gonna have to do some digging. A 35 millimeter camera, cute. All right, hang on, let me get out these cases and then we'll see what else is in here. All right, I would say 90% of it was all phone cases. So I don't know if you can see this stack here. There's still a bunch more in the box, but so 90, probably 95 to 99% are phone cases. Pretty much, I think all for iPhones as far as I could tell. Um, I did get a, an iPad, iPhone charger. Some nice wireless earbud, or no, yeah. It says wireless earbuds. But there's definitely a wire. Oh, it just goes around your neck. That's nice. Perfect with a little charger. What else? Sony wireless headset. So about the same, kind of goes around your neck and just hangs out. Um, a road trip car audio Bluetooth FM transmitter. Didn't know that was a thing. 
Um, this wallet pocket, I think that you can kind of stick on the back of your phone case because the other side of it's like a 3M tape. And another pair of Sony earphones, but these do have a cord. So I got two of these cute cameras and a PlayStation USB charge cable. So I don't know if you use that for your controllers or whatever. Yes, wireless controller. Yeah, okay. Um, and then a Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game, full-size soft cushion rubber game mat. Don't know what that is. Dolly Parton's Christmas album. And some cute Super Mario headphones. Looks like they charge up and then maybe Bluetooth. Those are really cute. I'm gonna have to hide these from my son. Um, they don't have the charging cord, but I mean, most people have charging cords for everything right now, you think? Okay, and then the other things that you already saw, the PS5 game, the iPad chart, or the iPad case, and this book. So, with all of those phone cases, it's gonna be a lot to list them, so it might be a little time consuming, but I'm pretty sure I could sell them really well on eBay, and ship super easy. All right guys, that's all I have for you today. It was a little bit shorter of a video because it was a lot smaller of a palette. I hope you still enjoyed seeing all these things that I unboxed so that you can have a realistic expectation of some of the things you might be finding on a return palette. This one was different for me because I have not bought a Target palette in a very long time. I usually stick to Amazon. Um, I don't know why, I just kind of like the items better. The last Target one that I did, I did get a KitchenAid mixer that I ended up keeping. So I'm sure that cut way into my profit because it was brand new, still sealed in the box. Um, but it was something that I saw from the outside of the palette around the shrink wrap and knew that I wanted to keep for myself. So I went in knowing that. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you guys. Let me know what your favorite item was that I found today. Um, I'm gonna go with the, the bumper car for mine. Um, I think that one will be a fun one to resell, pretty easy. I saw some comps on Facebook Marketplace already that were like $100, so it should go pretty fast. So like I said, I spent $200 on this palette. I went to Grand Rapids Palette Liquidation. I'll link them below in the description as well as links to my eBay store in case you like any of the things that you saw today. Um, and I will also link some of my other videos in case you want to see some of my Amazon return palettes that I've done so far. Remember to check out my channel because there are plenty of other unboxing videos for you to see. I hope to see you guys on our next adventure.